Club volleyball can provide a year-round experience for athletes who love the game, but the sport is getting expensive. Team fees, traveling, and tryouts add up. And on top of those costs, league coaches say if an athlete wants to play varsity, they have to play club year-round. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvold spoke with the Madison team aiming to make competitive club more affordable. And Marcus, this club's grown in popularity because of its message. The Madison Starlings Volleyball Club was just an open gym when director Alexis Middleton got involved. Now it's evolved into a safe space with a message to include families from historically lower economic status at a cost of $500. To keep those costs low, though, they're always in need of gym space funding, but most importantly right now, more coaches. To some, making the varsity volleyball team is everything. Madison Starlings club director Alexis Middleton says this dream is out of reach for athletes coming from families of a lower income bracket. Typically with the resource disadvantage, right, that you are of a different socioeconomic status, also comes with, right, the racial disparity. Middleton says club volleyball in Madison lacks diversity. It's not that they don't like volleyball or they're not interested. It's not that they're fundamentally not capable of doing it. Right? It's just the fact that they don't have opportunities available to them. Madison clubs can cost from $1,300 to the most expensive visible online at $3,000 per season. And those are just the entry fees. Starling's entry is $500. The game of volleyball has really evolved. The club scene have made it so that our high school teams have become much stronger. Unfortunately, the game has become more uh, fluent. A lot of kids can't afford club, and that's what we hear. Coach Franco Marcos would know he's been in the game since clubs started in the 80s. But without more coaches, he says Starlings can't provide their inclusive experience for as many players as they'd like. Starlings kind of like includes everybody. They don't care about like anyone's income, you know, they're gonna like give everybody an opportunity and that's what I love. Setter Yuseli Guerrero Marillos played for years and if she doesn't play in college, plans to help the program, she says, became more than a sport. We got this diversity, we got this culture to us, you know. We're not only teammates, but like we're also like becoming family here, so I love that. Stay Starlings would like to hire two to five more coaches to add teams and become more competitive. Practice for the high school club athletes starts the week after Thanksgiving. Live in the studio, Marcus Arzvold, NBC 15 News.